In season nine, Bethany Frankel invested in two women-owned businesses, Snarky Tea. Our Get Your Ass in Bed blend will help you get some beauty rest. <laughs> and No Mustache. Giving you the freedom to wax anytime, any place. Let's see what they're up to now. It's good to have both businesses together because I feel like we have similar goals. Having Bethany believe in women empowerment so much is very in tune with what our brand is, what our message is. We're currently working with Bethany on a women's solutions kit like we talked about in the tape. Bra strap holder. Amazing. We're creating this kit to help women in a pinch. So if there are traveling, busy moms on the go, there's always gonna be something that you're gonna need out of this bag. Instead of going the gift angle, this is really a functional tee. The original line I pitched on Shark Tank was a little too edgy for retailers. So Bethy and I work together to create something for a larger audience. You're still snarky, <laughs> but you feel like right. you're gonna get the function of yep. it. They're hitting it out of the park. Combined, these two businesses are close to $3 million since Shark Tank. I always send out to different celebrities and influencers these Bethany boxes and I thought, why not coordinate all of our products? It's like a so confidence exciting. pack. <laughs> exactly. I work with Dress for Success. They help women to get jobs. So I thought that this would be a great thing to bring over to them. So let's go over there and surprise them with some of these boxes. Awesome, let's do it. Look who's here. How are you? Good to see you. I'm so great to see you. Dress for Success is a nonprofit organization. They provide development tools and professional attire to help women thrive. We all have been struggling, broke female entrepreneurs that have succeeded. To give back to an organization like Dress for Success is on brand. And we're really excited to announce that we'll be donating a portion of proceeds from the new products to Dress for Success. The women from Snarky Tea and Nomo had a dream and they went for it. I totally relate to that. And I want to show women all around the world you can achieve the impossible. In season nine, Joshua Esnard made a deal with Damon John for his hair grooming accessory, the Cut Buddy. I'm gonna ride with you. Let's see how Cut Buddy is doing now. When I launched in 2016, the Cut Buddy went viral, but then we got knocked off over 2,000 times. When I pitched to the Sharks, we had only done $115,000 in sales in 2017. Making a deal with Damon changed everything. Welcome to New York City. When you're knocked off that many times, the only way to win the game is to be the first to retail. Damon has helped make that happen. We finalized a deal with Andy's Clippers, one of the oldest distributors of hair grooming tools in America. Nothing better than nothing, a free check. Nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> Royalties. Yeah. Licensing is important because it's like getting people to do all the hard work and sending you a royalty check. And then you don't have anybody who owns part of your company. You get it all back when it's all over. And this introduced the Cut Buddy as a bonus product in their grooming kits, but it did so well that now it's going to be a standalone product. Cut Buddy's already in 10,000 stores and one of the top sellers on Amazon. In under a year, he's done over $800,000 in sales. Congratulations. Oh my goodness. We made it to the big time. So exciting. <laughs> my wife used to nudge me and tell me that I never finish what I start. And now I'm finishing what I started. My products on shelves all across the nation. I think I'm really living the American dream now. As an immigrant from a developing country, St. Lucia, not having the opportunity and just seeing your product looking at you. I love Damon for that and thank you Shark Tank. In season nine, Air Force mechanic Tom Burton made a deal with Richard Branson, Lori Grenier, and Mark Cuban for his non-slip tool tray grip mat. Deal. Done. <laughs> Let's see what he's doing now. Since Shark Tank, my business has really taken flight. Before Shark Tank, we had $400,000 in sales. It's now been a year since making my deal, and we've grossed over $4.7 million in sales. The benefit of having three sharks is that it's opened my eyes to expand beyond just aviation. Working with Richard and the Virgin Companies, we've been doing lots of cross-branding with Virgin Race Team and their space programs. Working with Mark has changed our internal operations, and Lori has opened the door by introducing us to major hardware retail outlets. None of this would have been possible without the Air Force. Hey, guys. Our Air Force is seeking to tap into more innovations and visionary people who can produce those innovations, like Tom. Air Force is where they take new technologies and try to introduce them to Air Force and make us a little bit safer and a lot more competitive. It gives me great pleasure to present the Inspiring Innovation Award to Mr. Tom Burden. The Air Force has hundreds of thousands of suppliers and grip mat got chosen out of all of them. That's incredible. My mission is to make our military the most efficient force 
in the world. What's really cool is Tom's an airman. When he was out there talking in front of all these airmen, you could just see in their faces how they could relate to him. And I was getting chills listening to him. I'm super excited for the award and to be a part of AdWorks. Thank you. It's only been a year since getting my deal, but I feel like the rest of my life is impacted for the better. Just a few years ago, I was maintaining fighter jets. Now I have a thriving company that's being backed by three sharks and has the support of the United States Air Force. It's a dream come true. It's all thanks to the support of the Air Force and Shark Tank. Fly, fly, In season nine, Scott Howdeschel and Curtis McGill made a deal with Lori Grenier for their Easter egg decorator, Egg Maisie. I'm getting a $2 royalty, but I'm gonna give $1. Did I hear royalty? To some type of children's organization. Let's see how they're doing now. When we pitched on Shark Tank, we'd done $150,000 in sales. It's been less than a year, and we've done over 12 million in retail sales. Within a few weeks of airing, we became number one on Amazon's toys and craft list. We'll be launching in 2,500 Walmart stores across the nation, our biggest deal to date. When you're lucky enough to be successful, it's so important to give back. The royalty structure wasn't exactly what we had in mind, but when Lori mentioned a donation back to a children's charity, that's when we knew we had the right shark. Let the fun begin! Today we're having a huge egg decorating party for kids here in Amarillo, and we've invited Make-A-Wish North Texas to receive our first donation. We would like to donate $50,000 today to Make-A-Wish. Thank you for making wishes come true. Make-A-Wish was just shy of hitting their goals this year, and this $50,000 put them over the top. You know, a wish can help them feel better, and sometimes even get better too. So thank you again for all that you've done for us. We sincerely appreciate it. I'm getting in on this, buddy. My nephew, Ethan, was diagnosed with leukemia a year and a half ago. His wish was granted this last year, and he got to go Jedi training at Disneyland. What Make-A-Wish has done for him has touched our family and touched our heart. Ah, thank you. The Shark Tank experience has been amazing for both of us. We never thought we'd have a thriving business, have the opportunity to give back. It's just an extraordinary feeling. In season nine, Chris Gronkowski landed a deal with Alex Rodriguez and Mark Cuban for his protein drink shaker and cooler, Ice Shaker. Mark, if you're interested, I think we can bring a lot to this business. Oh, no question. Let's see what he's up to now. My first pitch on Shark Tank, Ice Shaker had $80,000 in sales in the first six months of business. It's been less than a year, and we've done over $3 million in sales. So I've seen the numbers. Show me the products. Mark and I invested in Ice Shaker both because it had a great entrepreneur running it and Chris. But with me, I'm involved in over a 1,000 gyms, both domestically and internationally. So it's going to be a great addition to us. You haven't done anything in retail, and that's what we're going to do next. Mark and Alex are the perfect sharks for me. They're in the fitness industry, so they get it. Mark and his team have helped negotiate contracts with companies like GNC. We're currently in 35 locations and are looking to expand into 1,100 locations soon. Immediately after Shark Tank, Alex brought Ice Shaker into his local UFC gym in Miami as a test. So far, it's been a huge hit. How many people here have heard of Ice Shaker? <laughs> it's done so well, we're now gonna roll it out to 150 UFC gyms across the country. It's such a big deal to have the UFC family endorse by Shaker. This relationship and how we are gonna scale it is gonna be a grand slam. Shark Tank has been amazing. There's nothing else that can take you from a part-time job into this huge money-making machine in less than one year. As a Gronkowski, I feel like a beast right now. I can't wait to tell my bros. There's only one thing left to do. In season nine, Liz Martin made a deal with Lori Grenier for her kid-friendly hairbrushes, Tangle Pets. I know that you're the perfect partner. I knew, I knew that walking in here. Let's see what they're up to now. I've been a big fan of Shark Tank since it began, and so I knew that Lori was the key. We're launching these on QVC as well. My Tangle Pets were cute. With Lori's help, they've become epic. Super functional brush, super adorable characters, and high quality. Before Shark Tank, I was selling Tangle Pets at school fundraising sales. Tangle Pets is now launching nationwide in 50,000 locations, and we have done $12 million in retail sales. Tangle Pets, the brush in a bush. An infomercial can be amazing for a product like this. People see it, we make it catchy and memorable, and then the retailers are more apt to bring them in. Now look here. I use their coupon. Sorry. <laughs> I will now have to go there even more. 
Isn't it amazing? <laughs> Seeing the product on such a big scale at such a big retailer confirmed in me what I believed in myself and I wanted others to believe in. <laughs> Liz was just an ordinary mom, but she had an extraordinary idea. All it takes to change your life. What do you think? Being a part of Shark Tank is my happily ever after. I hope that it gives inspiration to other moms when they know that they have a good idea to go for it. Last season, we watched brothers Michael and Brian Special make a deal with Barbara for their cozy loungewear, the Comfy. Joy to the world, the Comfy's here. Let's see what they're up to now. When we went on Shark Tank, we did so with no sales and just a couple of prototypes. After making a deal with Barbara, within five weeks, we hit our first million dollars in sales. It's called the Comfy. We've sold out on QVC six times already, and so that's made them up their order to about 400,000 units. Now it's been less than a year, and we just hit $15 million in sales. Welcome to Bed Bath. You know, these Brian, great nice to see you. There's so much that goes into actually getting on a store shelf. I've had to help them with sourcing marketing, packaging, and getting it into a big box store. We want to get behind this in a big way. We want to put it in over 1,100 stores. Wow, this is the fastest I've ever seen a product go from prototype to retail to a total rollout in all of the Bed Bath & Beyond stores. It's going to be a home run for us. To be part of the Shark Tank family, to be part of something that has been such an important part of American culture over the last 10 years is probably the deepest honor that we've ever had. Hi. Little did they know that in one year they were going to be multi-millionaires simply because they had the stamina to stay the course and keep believing in that dream and, of course, coming on Shark Tank. I'm so excited for you guys. We hope that we can show people that the American dream is achievable. We had a great idea and we did something about it. Anybody else can do it too. Happy, Happy holidays! holidays!